Hi everyone, Empress Justice here for Empress Justice Tarot. If you'd like to check out my daily readings, you can check them out on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Also check out the new moon reading for Ray Varty on YouTube, Empress Justice Tarot YouTube. You can also check out April 2022 on Empress Justice Tarot YouTube. Today I'm actually going to be filming um, a live for moon reading in Chitra. So that should be exciting. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm going to be doing that at 12 o'clock this afternoon. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. Update on Fabian Deacon though. Um, basically what happened is these idiot children were throwing racial slurs all weekend. I think, I think the mom and her sister got drunk. And it was just like uh, on Friday night in particular, Saturday morning, they stayed up until about quarter, quarter, you know, quarter two. And there was the use of the N word over and over again. I said, look, look, can you just do this tomorrow? Just go to bed. It's like it's getting embarrassing. And then like there was just this bear screaming and screeching and. I don't know, saying the, you know, mad N-word over and over again. It was it was just pathetic, honestly. And the reason they did that is because they can't get the murderer line out of their minds because I said, you know what, I'd rather be a fat N-word or a mad N-word than a murderer, which is a really harsh thing to say about anybody, especially kids. But these are not normal circumstances in which, like idle gossip has no real consequence other than the person's feelings getting hurt if it was honestly to do with that I wouldn't have any ammunition to be able to throw that line because I'm not good at this I'm not good at roasting people and telling people about themselves I never picked up that gene I can tell the truth but I'm not good at actually like cussing people out I'm not very good at that um like you know I can only work with what people give me I'm not good at that stuff so if I turn around and say some really harsh shit then there's usually truth behind it and as for the murderer thing yeah it's fucking harsh but the thing is is that this is not a normal situation like I said the smear campaigns the endless taunts because the children have been reporting back to the mother oh she's not upset she's not upset that family what that family have been trying to do is they've tried been trying to get something on me, get me angry enough to get something on me so that they can record it and show it to somebody else. But hear what, right? I'm not the type of person that hides her anger. I've got multiple videos of myself throwing tantrums, getting angry, in some case saying some really, really heavy shit. Like you've got, like, like I've got myself on camera. So this thing where they're trying to get evidence on me, what, what are they going to do with it? I'm already trying to leave. I'm already trying to get a surrender tenancy. So let's just say for argument's sake, these people get, you know, these people actually get something on me and I end up getting kicked out of here. Eviction takes longer to, than a surrender tenancy. So really they're just holding it up so that they can look good. So the family is holding up the proceedings putting up with a neighbour that they don't want underneath them, just so that they can look good to everybody else. Why? That's what I'm saying. These people don't make no sense. If they're, if, you know, if what I'm saying about being accessory to murder through psychological, psychological, um, you know, through psychological torture and smear campaigns and if everything that I'm saying is just conjecture and it's not true then why would you need to go to these lengths to have somebody sectioned rather than just telling everybody the truth look you know this this person's mentally ill like I, I don't know you're like it just it just it just doesn't add up like if the psychological mind games to facilitate electronic weaponry is not true there are certain things that you're not going to you're not going to take notice of there are certain things that you're not going to do you have repeatedly tried to have me sectioned 
Not over serious shit that actually matters, but over shit that doesn't. The only time when you actually try to take action to section somebody is when you look stupid. That's it. That's it. Not when something serious has actually gone down. In fact, let me illustrate exactly what the difference is between me and this family, right? With me, I made threats to the mother three times in one weekend last year. Three times in one weekend. And after the police got here, I was really, really angry. Uh, you know, not at the family, but at the way the police were treated. So between the neighbours lying and the police getting here and trying the good cop, bad cop shit, I was really, really angry. But the thing is, I sectioned myself. I tried to section myself and I told mental health exactly what I'd done. I even told the council exactly what I'd done. Meanwhile, you know, the, and this is me. This is me actually doing it when something has actually happened. Meanwhile, all people need to do is check the timeline of when that family had actually reported me for being violent or for being this, that, and the third. Nine times out of 10, when they've reported me for being violent, I haven't actually been violent towards them at all. Check the timelines, check the dates of when the reports were made. Nine times out of 10, if not the whole time, they tried to get me sectioned when nothing was going on, when nothing was happening to them, when nothing involved them. Or if, you know, at worst, if I made fun of them. That's the difference between me and them. So them trying to get shit on me, it's like all of it is just delaying shit. And getting me sectioned is not going to make them look good because at the end of the day, let's say for argument's sake, they get what they want. I get sectioned. Those kids ain't been behaving at school. They've probably been using the N word at school. So at some point they're going to put two and two together. Why is that so-called mad lady being sectioned? And yet these kids are running amok, calling people the N word. Probably, I don't know what they're doing at school. Calling people the N word starting fights and shit, getting on people's nerves. So people are going to connect the dots. Even if they successfully manage to section me, people are just going to connect the dots and have done. People are just going to connect the dots and have done. They're going to figure out, listen, this family's no good. Because the thing is, when I first came here, Yes, I was screaming at the top of my lungs, but that was to do with back pain and fucking period pain and having electronic weapons fired on me all at fucking once. That was to do with me not being able to walk. Let's just let's just say let's just let's just say this, right? Before that family came here, were there any, and I mean any, mental health officials? coming to my doorstep before that family got here. Were there any mental health professionals coming to my doorstep before that family got? No. No. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... Everything that that family does is desperate and pathetic and lying and cowardly. And today, what I heard, I think it was a little girl who said it, because it's always a little girl saying some dumb shit. I think what the mum said to her is, she's not a paedophile, don't say that. So now we're, we're getting the paedophilic thing. Like, st stay here for what? Because you know that little girl is going to spread that shit. It doesn't matter what the mother says. Like, the, the, these kids have been on me, calling me the N-word all weekend, right? I don't know if it's under the mother's behest or what, but they've been calling me the N-word all weekend. That The mum can't keep them under control. They've been cussing me all weekend, cussing me out, screaming at the top of their lungs. They go to school, and even if the mum says, don't say that, you know they're going to fucking say that. You know they're going to say that. They can't help themselves. So, you know, even if the mum says don't say she's a paedophile, like, now, now's paedophilia is in the mix. Just because 
just because these people can't accept the position they put themselves in and they want the opportunity to have something good on their side or have something bad on my side, now they want to bring that into it. Just because I stated a truth, you might not be a murderer, but you are an accessory to murder. I'm a targeted individual. I have electronic weapons fired on me. I have psychotronic psychotronic weapon it's not psychotropic it's psychotronic i keep getting that wrong i get psychotronic weapons fired on me i get acoustic weapons fired on me mental health are just basically henchmen for these military experimentations and your part your role as somebody who's close to me is to antagonize me as much as possible in order to render these unlawful experimentations to be effective. So yes, you are an accessory to murder. People have been murdered in this program. Doing exactly what you've been doing. So when I say you're a murderer, I'm not saying that to hurt your fucking feelings, even though that definitely helps. I'm not good at cussing people out. All I can do is give Take what people give me. I'm not good at cussing people like that. So if I say you're a fucking murderer, I'm not fucking saying that. I'm not like these people. I don't say shit for the sake of it. I don't say shit for effect. Everything that I fucking say has truth in it. I don't go around saying shit like that just to hurt people's feelings and, and children. Really? I'm going to go around saying, oh, you're a murderer just to hurt a fucking kid's feelings. Get the fuck out of here. But, oh, she gets to say something evil. Well, you're doing evil things for evil reasons and it will have an evil outcome. And it's not even just me that will end up being murdered because of this program. Because whatever, whatever is successful on us is going to be used on the rest of the public. That has already been happening. So you're not just facilitating my murder. You're facilitating a fucking genocide too. And no, I'm not just saying this for effect because I'm not a fucking child. And I might not have been raised that well, but I have at least been raised well enough where that is not. No, actually, no, no, let me not. Let me not do that. 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 Because to talk about, you know, lying as a result of acting up, that would be too hypocritical because because I had lied plenty when I was a kid. So I'm not about to do that. But, you know, because kids do that when they act up. Kids, do, when they're in the midst of a tumultuous home situation, they tend to lie a lot in order to act up. And they tend to bully people a lot. Some of them tend to bully people a lot in order to act up. So this is not something that's new to me. This is not something that's unusual to me. Lots of kids do it. So no, before I go down that road of trying to act like I was the perfect kid growing up, I'm not doing that. But... You know, like, I don't say these things for effect. There's truth in almost everything that I say. And the only time when it isn't is when I've done something by mistake. Because remember, I used to lie and it, and it was killing me. So I just decided, no, fuck it. I'm not going to lie no more. No point in it. No point in it. That's not the way I live my life anymore. I, I haven't lived my life like that since mid-20s. I ain't got the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the time to fucking lie. No, actually, even earlier than mid-20s. I can't lie for shit. I can't lie worth a shit. I can't lie worth a shit. So I don't bother. But this whole thing, if if like if this kid. If this moronic child gets to gets to talking about, you know, gets to lying that I'm a nonce, then I definitely got to bounce, innit? Because people around here are fucking stupid. People around here are fucking stupid. And we got they've got plenty of informal collaborators around here. So if that little girl starts kicking off about, oh, I, you know, how I'm a, so, supposed to be a nonce or something. Then it's only a matter of time before adults get wind of it and then they'll start talking amongst each other. And then what kind of danger does that end up with me being in 
because some little dickhead wants to get even for over stuff that she caused in the first place. And this is exactly what I'm saying. Just because certain people are children, it doesn't mean that they're going to be necessarily good. Ignorant doesn't mean innocent. There are certain things that as a kid you do not have to do. You, you don't have to do it. There's always a split second of a moment where you can say to yourself, even as a kid, even as somebody with a disability even, especially if the disability is mild, there's a point to yourself where you can say, I don't have to do this. I don't have to be like this. And yet you ignore that and you choose to do it. So yeah, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I've already, um, I'm going to have to talk to the council about that because that's unacceptable because the thing is that will put my life in danger. Um, there's this Iranian man that I've been talking about on Twitter. I keep talking about him, but I can never remember his name. Um, Yeah, so Yeah, so Bijan Ibrahimi. I think it was an Iranian man. Um yeah. Cuz I, I keep posting his story all the time. He was in Bristol. He was a 44-year-old man that had received death threats and racial abuse from his neighbors. He was wrongfully he was wrongfully accused of being a paedophile um, when he started recording evidence of threats and antisocial behaviour. I don't know if this sounds familiar to you. And in 2013, on the 14th of July, he was murdered. And that was just for a false accusation. So while people who are falsely accused of being freely murdered out here, you've got people who are actually paedophiles being coddled, being protected, having their identities covered up. Again, if that little girl starts talking about paedophilia to people, that's immediately going to put my life in danger. Because people will look for any excuse to, to right wrongs and to do it the easy way rather than the way that in which they're actually supposed to do it, which leads to innocent people being hurt or murdered. When I'm telling you this, the, these are the type of family that will get people killed. I didn't, I wasn't playing. I wasn't playing. I said, if the, these types of people are the type of people that will get someone killed. I wasn't playing when I said that. I was not playing when I said that. And instead of learning something, instead of being like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't be this way. These kids will get worse because they feel like they're entitled to get worse because they feel bad. They haven't been taught right from wrong. All they've been taught is how to antagonize and yell and shout and bully and lie. They haven't been taught anything real. If that little girl starts talking about nonce, I've got to bounce. I've got to bounce. There is no way in hell. And saying all of this out loud, it makes me realise I've got to talk to the council. I've got to tell the council what's been going on. Because for someone to... To see a video where I want to end child trafficking and then to put together that they should say that I'm a child abuser is beyond the pale. She's a kid, but 
it's beyond the pale. I can't stay here. I can't stay here. It's bad. It's very, very bad. It's very bad when instead of admitting the truth, you're going to resort to saying whatever you think you can find to say in order to hurt a person. I mean, with me, when I lied, it was usually about people who I thought weren't going to get hurt by the lie. That's what I was like as a kid. I used to tell lies, but I used to tell lies that I thought wouldn't hurt anybody and would only make me look better. But these children, and in fact, the adults that surround them, they don't operate like that. It doesn't matter if they've done right or wrong. It doesn't matter. You hurt their feelings. They think it's only fair to hurt yours or hurt you by any means necessary. And again, saying this out loud, it made me, really made me realise I, I have to report this to the council. Even if the council don't do anything, I have to report it. It's not right. It's not right. Might have to report it to police as well. I think I'm going to hold off on that though. So yeah, I'm going to get in touch with the council now. And tell them what's happened. It's up to them what they do. But yeah, this can't run. It's getting worse. Anyway, I've got to go. Take care, you guys. Bye, my fellow TIs. Bye-bye.